crazy thing to be on the cover of Vogue. I was kind of like a little bit speechless. I was kind of half asleep and G walked in with the phone and like yeah. showed it to me and like seen it. I was like, oh shit, it's really fucking sick. My main thing with clothes is I just always try to like make my outfit look cool. I don't know why that is. It's just something I want to do. My granddad, he was a teddy boy. So he loved uh, uh, like dressing up in suits and like wearing like specific tie done a certain way and like so it's definitely in the bloodline and I don't want to sound cliche but I think Prince was like the epitome of that for me like he always like was bold with what he wanted to do and didn't really care it was always unique and that always tied into what he was doing musically as well. The studio is kind of like what I always envisioned my bedroom to be like as a child but couldn't quite ever afford to do anything. <laughs> to the extent that it is now. So it's kind of like my like childhood um, aspirations to one day build a studio and it's all kind of planned out with that in mind. It's just um, all my favorite things um, and just they're all kind of around in like cool places, you know what I mean? Just little bits of me, just things that I wanted to put in there, basically. When I first moved in, um, I was staying here like uh, on a mattress for about six months. Um, I didn't really want to do anything to it because I just liked the way it felt, like minimalistic, simple, there was nothing to really hold on to. And I just moved out of my London pad, which had a lot of stuff in it. I thought I'll stick just the poster straight on the wall and do like a collage. And it was meant to be like a little collage originally. And then I did the entire wall. Um, and then I just kind of went from there. I didn't really have anything in the house except this massive collaged wall. The, the, the comic books that I had when I was a kid, they were in a safe somewhere and they just had like cobwebs and stuff on them. So we just decided to take them out, put them in the coffee table and they look really cool. Personally, again, I'm not like a very outgoing, um, like social person, like in terms of big groups of people. When we're you know, getting ready to start putting the second album out and people are going to start seeing me a bit more. So I'm excited to see what people think. Uh, I think it's been a year since like I've properly like, showed my face and stuff. So I feel like I'm always trying to, to work through uh, whatever, you know, certain issues are around certain subjects. For me personally, I think it, it comes from a place of uh, not ever wanting to uh, come across as an, a, an over arrogant person or a person that takes himself too seriously. Um, I, I'm not always trying to um, be pretentious or, you know, to say something that I think is going to change the world. Uh, I feel like I'm one voice among millions. I listen to a lot of hip hop, a lot of rap music, so I rate them sort of people as like the real lyricists because they write things that are, you know, complex and, and weird. I always feel like there's something I can improve on or there's something I can tweak and make it more me or, you know, a little bit more different here. And I feel like that comes across uh, with my lyric now. I feel like my lyrics grown. I feel like it's more adult. I feel like I've got some cool puns in there and some weird things that I'm proud of that my minds being able to come up with. I'm just thankful that I get to do what it is that I do and, and people appreciate it and they don't throw tomatoes at me when I'm on stage. <laughs>